Hey everyone, today I'm going to be seeing if I can actually extract electricity for free from the air. Now the earth that I'm standing on has a slight negative charge, but the higher you move up in the air, the less negative that charge gets until you get high up in the atmosphere, there's actually a strong positive charge. In fact, the voltage change over just one meter is around 100 volts. So just at my height, the air around me has a voltage difference the same as the outlets in my house. So why aren't I just getting electrocuted standing here? Well, the reason is because there's not a lot of charged ions hitting me, and so the current that's going into my body is really low, so you basically don't feel it ever. But what if you keep going up higher and higher? For example, what if I just grab this metal rod and stick it up really high? Will I get shocked then? Well, I don't feel anything. In order to actually feel something, you gotta go really high. So if I had a rod that were 300 feet long, then the potential difference between me and the top of the rod would be around 9,000 volts. Now that would be really hard to get a rod that long, but you don't need a rod. What I'm gonna have instead is a drone. And my drone is gonna carry this screen material on it and connected to the bottom is a copper wire. So I'm just going to fly my drone way up in the sky and it's gonna be hanging this copper wire below it. And then I'll be able to see if I can actually extract enough power from the air to be able to do anything with it. So after my drone's up in the sky, at the end of my wire, it's going to be around 10,000 volts or several thousand volts. But it turns out that high voltage and really low current is hard to measure. It's not like I can just stick a voltmeter on here and measure it. Now this device is called Franklin's Bell. If you connect this at a high voltage and this at ground, then this little thing in the middle, it's just a soda can tab, will actually bounce between them because it's gonna get attracted to the high voltage here, but then as soon as it touches it, it's going to get charged itself, and then it'll get pushed away from the can and touch the other one and get grounded, and lose its charge, and then repeat that process over and over and bounce back and forth. So this is the way I'm gonna test to see if we have high voltage from the sky here. Okay, let's turn on the drone, and I'm gonna try to control my drone as I lit out the wire. Now this takes hundreds of feet of copper wire. Hopefully my drone can hold it. Okay, my drone is now around 300 feet up there. Now let's connect it to our Franklin Bell setup. Ouch, shocked me. <laughs> Okay, that's working. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow, that's shocking me. Don't mind the loud beeping in the background. That's just the warning that my drone's about to fall from the sky due to low battery as I frantically tried to get my Franklin Bell set up to work. But then finally it started ringing like it was supposed to. It's working. Now with this experiment, you can see the main problem with doing something like this to extract electricity is that you don't get very high power from it. You don't get a lot of current flowing even though the voltage is really high. And that's mainly limited by your surface area here. So I don't have a huge surface area that I put up there, so I wasn't collecting a lot of current, a lot of ions from the atmosphere up there. So why don't we just make the screen bigger? Well in this case, I was carrying it with a drone, so I was kind of limited on the weight of it. You can see this depiction from 1922 shows a bunch of hydrogen balloons with collectors on top trying to extract energy from the atmosphere. But what if we just put it at the top of a skyscraper? Well, then we run into another problem. The skyscraper is grounded. So that means that the skyscraper itself is a voltage of the ground, so it's a little bit negatively charged. So the voltage of the atmosphere around the skyscraper is no longer at thousands of volts. For example, if I were to draw a potential line, so these are lines of equal voltage, around a building, it would look like this. You see that the building is kind of just an extension of the ground itself. So if ever you're grounded, it kind of moves the amount you need to reach up further away from you. But isn't that the same case here where I had just a straight wire sticking up from the ground as well? Well, yes, that's true, but because the wire is really small and pointy, those potential lines going around the wire are bunched close together. And because of that quick change in potential over a small area, that's enough for electrons to be able to shoot off and hit the down moving ions of positively charged air moving towards the wire. So it can generate a small amount of electricity in this case. 
And also I'd like to thank the Plasma channel for helping me out with this video. He recently did a similar experiment to this and helped share some tips on how to get the best results as well. So go check out his channel. I'll put a link in my description as well. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet or hit the bell to be notified when I release my latest video. And check out theactionlab.com. I sell my experiment boxes there. And you can also check out my wife's black hole painting where she paints the black hole with real muso black. It looks awesome, available for a limited time. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.